This tour features Viracon's Awatana, Minnesota campus and its glass fabrication processes, guiding you through 1.6 million square feet of world-class architectural glass fabrication for commercial facades. The process begins with large sheets of float glass substrates. Substrates are individual plies of glass used to fabricate glass units and may also be referred to as float glass, raw glass, or glass lights. Glass substrates are available in a variety of thicknesses and colors from independent float glass manufacturers. To minimize environmental waste, Viracon uses computer applications to query and group incoming custom size orders, maximizing the use of glass out of each substrate. The scrap glass, called Cullet, is recycled and shipped to a third-party company that then grinds the glass down, mainly for use in the production of fiberglass, as well as road paint, asphalt, and even sandblast material. Printing on glass is a great way to enhance both the appearance and performance of a building facade. There are three options, digital, silkscreen, and spandrel. Digital combines the durability of ceramic enamel with the versatility of digital printing equipment. It enables printing with multiple colors and custom graphics on a single surface. The design possibilities are virtually unlimited. Silkscreen applies a standard pattern to the glass. The pattern is made by placing a screen over a piece of glass and then pressing ceramic frit by means of a large squeegee through the pores of the screen onto the glass surface. After the ink or frit is applied via digital or silk screen, the glass goes through an infrared oven to dry the ink or frit and then through a tempering furnace to fire the ink or frit to the glass permanently. Spandrel is used for the portion of a wall located between vision areas of windows, concealing structural columns, floors, and sheer walls. The basic purpose of spandrel print is to render the glass opaque for non-vision areas. Ceramic frit is rolled onto the entire surface of one side of the glass and is sent through the tempering furnace to fire the frit to the glass permanently. Glass up to this stage is categorized as annealed. The majority of annealed glass is then subjected to a heat treating process in order to provide greater resistance to thermal and mechanical stresses. The first step is seaming the glass edges. Then the glass is transported through a furnace and heated to over 1,100 degrees. Upon exiting the furnace, the glass is rapidly cooled by blowing air uniformly upon both surfaces simultaneously. This cooling or quench process creates a state of high compression at the glass surfaces, while the central core of the glass is in a compensating tension. The only physical characteristics of the glass that change are the improved strength and resistance to thermal stress and shock. The result is the more commonly used heat strengthened glass or safety glass, known as fully tempered glass, either of which is typically two to four times stronger than annealed glass. When safety glazing is required, Fully tempered glass is placed into a heat soak oven and heated in an attempt to reduce the potential of spontaneous breakage from natural impurities in the float glass, known as nickel sulfide inclusions. Coatings are thin layers of metal applied or sputtered onto glass to improve thermal and optical performance characteristics. The specific coating needed for a given project is typically dictated by required solar performance and or a desired appearance. Every 20 to 30 minutes, the quality department verifies color and uniformity of the coating being applied to the glass. Laminated glass consists of one or more lights and one or more interlayers. The glass and interlayers are pressed together in a sterile lab. The laminated glass passes through a tacking oven, then racked and transported into an autoclave. The autoclave is a high-pressure, high-heat chamber, which creates a chemical reaction permanently bonding the glass and interlayer together. Laminated glass is a great choice for many applications to meet a variety of requirements, including acoustic, aesthetic, blast mitigating, hurricane, safety, and ultraviolet protection. In the special fabrication department, glass runs through various equipment to grind or polish its edges, or to have notches, holes, or mail slots cut out. An insulating glass unit consists of two or three lights of glass, enclosing a hermetically sealed insulating space. A spacer applied between the glass lights holds the lights apart. The insulating space can be filled with air or argon. 
Virocon's Warm Edge Spacer VTS replaces the traditional metal spacer, desiccant, and primary sealant combination with a better performing single component consisting of black thermoplastic with integrated desiccant and primary seal that is chemically bonded directly to the glass and secondary sealant. Argon fill and secondary sealant is applied. The finished insulating glass unit is then placed on a rack and brought to the warehouse for packaging and loading onto a truck for delivery to the customer's location. The exterior glass is the first impression of a building when arriving and the last impression when leaving. Viracon continuously monitors the quality of its fabrication processes, providing glass units that will reflect perfectly on the building owner and its occupants.